Hey folks, we're going to go over here the uh, bias differences between an IDEX and a fine care vet. Again, keep in mind that the whole idea of this particular slide and this particular video that you're watching is to explain a little bit more on why sometimes when you run your sample at your vet lab, you get a different number on your instrument and they don't correlate correctly. This is the explanation of why that might be. Uh, and we call that bias. And the bottom line difference is that every instrument that's available in the veterinarian area uh, of, of medicine for um, dog breeders or vets for that matter, there's a whole host of instrumentation that does the testing for it, in this case, progesterone. Uh, the difference is they're all different manufacturers and the instruments are designed different. So they read differently. That's just the nature of the beast. The instrumentation between two different uh, manufacturers are, are going to be designed to read whatever they decide in the software and the difference in how the instrument does the measurement. So that's totally normal, totally acceptable, totally expected. Uh, the thing is, and we understand completely how this can be very confusing. Let's just say that your vet lab is using an IDEX brand instrument, something that's correlated or an actual IDEX, correlated to an IDEX or an IDEX, and you're running a fine care vet. And here, let's say you're in uh, day 11, and your vet comes back with a number that says in a range of, of maybe 8 to 14, and mean value being 12, and you're coming up with a 22. Now, again, don't get hung up on these numbers as the exact numbers. These are these are uh, representations of the line here, so you understand that there is a bias difference between the two. So your vet's going to get a 12, you're going to get a 22. That seems like the instrument's broken, right? And common sense, I think the same thing. Look at them, they're getting a 12, I'm getting a 22, the vet's got to be right, so my, my instrument's broken. But, like we just mentioned, the instrumentation is designed differently, reports the results out differently, and will give you a different number, it's totally acceptable. What we do to make this, this whole process very simple for you is that we run uh, high-end correlation testing between these two. So an IDEX-related instrument, we ran hundreds of serum tests between the IDEX-related uh, instrument and the fine care vet. And that's how we came up with these bias numbers so that we know uh, example, on day 11, you're going to get around a 12 on a IDEX-related system, but you're also going to get a 22 on, a, on the fine care. Now, the bottom line is that those two numbers mean in cycle days and best time to breed, they mean exactly the same thing. A 22 here means, hey, day 11, it's a natural breeding, it's a best time to do it. And on the, on the uh, IDEX, it, they're going to tell you, the vet's going to tell you it's at 12. Uh, that is, again, to be expected. Now, you notice as you go up the chart with a fine care, and this is almost exactly the same chart that would apply to a mini Vetus, which is a high-end clinical analyzer. They have the same bias between an IDEX and a mini Vetus. So as you get higher in the ranges on a fine care, uh, the, the difference, bias difference, is more from the low end to the high end, which is to be expected. Again, what we do to make it very, very simple for you is we take and we run correlations. Basically, that's hundreds of serum tests that we run. The same test, we run hundreds of tests between the two instruments in question. In this case, a IDEX-related instrument and, and the fine care vet. That's where these numbers come up, come from. So we got the correlation numbers. We know what the differences are. And again, differences are not the day, day 11 is best time to breed, and both of these numbers are right. There are genuine numbers that you can go by. So we take the correlation that we ran between the two instruments to get these biases, to know what the difference is, and then we put it in a timing chart. So this nice colorful timing chart you'll get with any instrument that you buy from us, you'll get the timing chart that these correlation numbers have been applied to. So that on your chart, it's going to say ovulation ranges are yada yada, uh, depending on the instrument. Between, let's just use an example. Between, again, these are just examples. Uh, it, let's say it's between 6 and 10. Uh, 
on a particular instrument, that timing chart's going to tell you in a nice colored chart that on the instrument that you bought, that's the best time, uh, that's ovulation, the next set uh, band of numbers is best time to breed, and you can feel totally confident in those numbers because we've done all the back end work, again, with hundreds of serum samples so that we know what the difference is between these two. Now, again, I want to emphasize that <clears throat> the 12 on an IDEX in this example is exactly the same timing day, day 11, as 22 would be on a fine care. And so with the chart, the chart would tell you this range is best time to breed. And on an IDEX, like an emulite, it would tell you um, 12 is day 11 best time to breed. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to match up with the day, but the best time to breed is going to be 12 on that chart, and it's going to be 22 on this chart. But again, they've all been correlated together with um, hundreds of tests so that we know what the differences are. And that's the clinical way, that that's the research way to actually come up with these correlations with the difference between these two instruments. So I hope that helps explain it. I guess in a nutshell, if I was to abbreviate this whole thing, all you really need to know, if you want to know more, that's what these videos are for, but the timing chart on the instrument that, that comes with the instrument that you bought is accurate. It's been, it's not just arbitrary numbers that we've thrown out. We've done a lot of testing to make sure that we know what those numbers are. And uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, again, you're going to see that when you first get your instrument, there's going to be difference depending on what the instrument is. There's going to be difference between the two, uh, your vet. And so we suggest you don't do that. You don't try to compare with another analyzer. You'll just be super frustrated. Go by the timing charts, and I think that'll make your life a lot easier and a lot happier. Thanks. Appreciate your time here, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.